Greetings. Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm the Moon Mama. How are y'all doing today? Look at my t-shirt. I create my life. Got this at the um, conference. I'm a part of the Progressive Love community and we we really focus our energy on learning how to create the new earth and how we do that. Our core principle is I create my life, of course, right? Like, so just understanding that everything in your life is something you create. And then yesterday I was with my friend James and he has this when he took me to this little store. This is an obsidian crow head. Isn't that powerful? It's so beautiful. And he has one. And I'm, every time he, see, he wears it, I'm like, oh my God, I love that. So he took me to the store and I got one. So pretty, right? Um, okay, so today the moon is in Gemini, the 28th degree of um, Gemini. And the moon is the, is the energy that governs this day. The moon is the energy of our internal reality. It really, the moon governs our psyche. It governs our subconscious. It is um, one of the things, and I don't, I'm going to try and say this in the way that I get it. Like everything here is connected, everything, you know, so there's past, present, and future all happening in one moment. Um, there are different dimensions. There is, you know, um, like, like, the elements connect everything like so when at here in california we always have fires right and it's so interesting because the brush during the summer gets really dry and then it catches on fire and it burns down you know the mountains and all of this sort of stuff but the elements just are working together like the wind carries the fire and the fire scorches the earth and everything is all connected and as are we that's my cat all set she has been doing that for hours. And so in understanding this connection, like the subconscious, right? The subconscious is what's creating our reality. And the moon, the moon governs the subconscious. It, it rules the psyche. And if you see, the moon pulls the tide and the ocean. So when the moon, um, depending on the size of the moon, the tide is either far out or close in. And, and the moon does that to the water in our bodies as well. And when it does that to the water in our bodies, it impacts our hormones, it impacts our feelings, and it impacts our subconscious. So we have dreams and we remember things and it rules our behavior. I like to say it's as if the moon is the puppet, the puppeteer and we are the puppets. And so that is the value of following it. Because if the moon is the puppeteer, when you follow it, you will be where you're supposed to be doing the thing you're supposed to do. This has been going on for days. So today the moon is in Gemini and Gemini is our perceived reality and the sun is in Aquarius. And with the sun in Aquarius, we want to break away from our old paradigm. We want to get free from the way we've been doing things up till now. We want freedom is the core thing. So with the moon in Gemini, and it's about perception at the 28th degree when I checked it, it's like like love, like the 28th degree is about love. And, and Gemini at the 28th degree is like self-love, like can you perceive love? And here's the thing, right? The gift is being able to connect with your higher self because as human beings, we're stuck in this current moment. We see and we... When we see something, we think that that's what it is. But if we go to our internal eye, our third eye, and create a relationship with our higher self, then we can perceive a new reality. The thing that's important to understand about this system is that it's all based in consciousness. So my work is about healing and it's about healing the consciousness. And what I know is that the more of us that come, like step out of the, the lies of the Western constructs and move more into what is true, what is nature, what is in alignment with cycles, we will begin to dis to disable the, the constructs that are um, currently creating the world that we live in by just moving our attention into a different one, right? But in order to move your attention into a different one, you have to undo that construct in your own psyche. You have to undo how you have been supporting it in your own psyche. So with the moon and Gemini, and Gemini is about perception, and perception is how we create our reality. It is 
Perception is a function of the psyche that then builds our reality. So if I perceive that something is beautiful, then that something will be beautiful to me and it will create a, an electromagnetic exchange where I experience beauty. If I perceive that something is oppressive or painful, then I will put in the electromagnetic field that energetic and it will bring back to me pain or oppression. That is exactly how the system works around black people. If we believe that white people are out to get us, that this that that we are helpless, that we can um that it is somehow something that we are not involved in, it is our perception that generates to us this experience because of the energetic frequency that we carry that connects us to the sun. Yes, I said, I know, honey. I know. Really? Do you want to come and tell the people? Do you want to come and tell them? Yes. So today with Gemini, with the moon, our internal reality at the 28th degree, the best thing that you can perceive for yourself is love and how much you love yourself. Because the energetic frequency of love, it creates forgiveness it creates empathy, it creates joy, it creates freedom, it creates everything that we need because love is the embodiment of all things. Love, and especially this experience of unconditional love, right? It's unconditional love for yourself, okay? Not unconditional love for others. And I'm not saying not to have unconditional love for others. I'm just saying that if you don't have unconditional love for yourself, then your unconditional love for another is not accurate. So this capacity of love is really loving ourselves. I have been through this this last six months really looking deeply at my shadow, looking at the parts of me that are predatory, right? One of the things that I have discovered paying attention to this culture and this system, everything here is predatory. Everything here is about preying on others, right? Because that is the system by which the country was built. So I was just looking at my own self and wondering, well, how do I participate in this predatory thing? How is it that I do it? I do it in my imagination when I am in an experience of having a fantasy or desiring somebody that hasn't really agreed to be locked up in a fantasy with me. I do it in my conversations with people when I am angry and having internal conversations that I have not spoken out loud or done the work on to heal or, or see how I am the creator of it. We do, we, we, we live in a country where the nature, where being a predator is just how it works. It's just how it works. So it's important for us to really begin to love all the parts of ourselves. I'm talking about me loving the aspect of myself that I discovered has predatory energy, but, it, but it's that's self-hatred and it shows up as self-hatred. And what part of yourself is fearful? What part of yourself is sad and depressed? What part of yourself feels unworthy? All of those parts need love. And when you love those parts of yourself, rather than reject them, rather than project them out onto another person, then you heal and integrate them and you allow yourself the pathway to freedom inside of your own consciousness. So this is what the Gemini moon is about. Gemini, it can be, it's a it can be a very duplicitous energy. It's the twins. Hello, baby. Hello. Look at say hello to the people. It's the twins. So you might feel, the, the energy might feel duplicitous, right? And you just love that part of yourself. If you're angry or rageful, love your anger, love your rage, love your disdain, love all of it. Love your nastiness, like love everything, like the stuff that you judge. Don't judge it. Love it. Like me, I'm completely disorganized most of the time. And I love that about myself. I don't make that wrong. I have a Gemini moon. Geminis are scattered. Out of Pisces rising. Scattered. Yes. Yeah, so love all the parts of yourself because in the loving of it, you actually recondition the energy so that it can then be used for a new thing. So with that today, um, I encourage you to, you know, do some work, some internal work on your heart loving yourself, um, working to remember who you really are. Who are you at your core? And then love that. <laughs> Can you? 
This has been going on for days. Peace and blessings. I'm the Moon Mama. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.